वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट टूडे विल सी अबाउट द स्टडी ऑफ सॉइल टेक्सचर बाई यूजिंग टू सॉइल सैम्पल्स For this experiment, you require two soil samples. So, soil sample A, which is a collected from the roadside. This is a soil sample B, which is a collected from the garden. This both the soil samples you have to dry so that whatever the moisture, whatever the water present in that, we have to remove. Okay, and then you require the measures of the different whatever the size. You have to see that soil. So, this is of the another one size. This is one size very fine. This is a little bit more bigger size. and this one is a more bigger size which is for what for the corus sine particles same way you required the two measuring cylinders okay so here two measuring cylinders are there in which you can for the soil as well as the water to find out the different layers as well as you required the water for this experiment okay so you required the measuring pan also for measuring the What are the weight of the both the soil sample? So I have taken the two soil sample. This is a soil sample A and this soil sample B. This is of roadside soil is there, and this is about the garden soil is there. Okay. So first thing we have to measure the soil, which is of the 50 gram. So 50 gram of the first soil sample A I will take. Okay. So this is about the measuring pan, which is the digital measuring pan. With the help of this, we can start the experiment. Okay. So here I will measure this. Approximately of the fifty gram soil. So this is a looks sandy soil. So as we don't find the any fine particles in this. So this is about the approximately fifty gram of the. this soil sample a now this i will keep it aside afterward we have to find out the particles size of the particles now i will take the another sample which is of the sample b so this is sample b which is of the garden soil before measuring this we have to dry this soil so that whole moisture will remove so this both the soil samples are the which are the dry soil samples are there so about the garden soil here we can observe that which looks loamy here the sand particles are very less as compared to the soil sample a so here it is measured 50 gram so this 50 gram of the sample now i'll keep it aside now i'll shift this soil sample in the different meshes so here we'll sieve it and then we'll find out the different size of the this soil so this first with the very fine so this is what we got now the next remaining is now shifting to the another size mesh so here again we'll sieve this so this is a second what is the size now the next is a third meshes is there in which can save this so now this what is the left up that is all the gravels are there so here we got four different size size soil particles are there okay so first one is there which is the silt is there which is approximately 0.002 to 0.02 mm size okay second one is there this is about the fine sand which is approximately of the 0.02 to the 0.2 mm size okay next is there that is about the coarse sand so this coarse sand is there which is having the size approximately of 0.2 to 2 mm 
and the last one is there which are the gravels which all are the more than 2 mm size so we got the four type of the particles this is from the roadside soil now i will mix i will mix this all the water the together and then we'll find out this in the other procedure so where with the water we can find out the different layers in the measuring cylinder now we'll separate the soil different size particles from this garden soil so which is a measured 50 gram okay first i will pass this with the very fine mesh okay and then we'll find out the different size of the soil particles So here I got the silt. Now the remaining one I will shift on the another mesh of the little bit bigger size. So this what we got that is a fine sand particles are there. Now the next remaining I will shift to the more bigger size mesh, okay. So here we can get the gravels which are left behind and this is about the coarse sand. So here from the garden soil we got this four different size soil particles. This first one is there which is of the silt which is of the 0.002 to the 0.02 mm size. Next one is there which is a fine sand is there which is of the 0.02 to the 0.2 mm size. Next is there is about the coarse sand is there which is a 0.2 to 2 mm size. And uh, next is there this is about the gravels which is a more than 2 mm size. Okay, so this all will mix together and then we'll follow the another procedure. Now I will take the two cylinders, measuring cylinders, okay, and in that I will pour the water first of the 200 ml of the water and then what are the 50 gram of this soil, which is of the soil sample B. Same way in the another measuring cylinder, here same way I will pour, pour the 200 ml of the water and then this 50 gram of the soil sample A in this, okay, and then we will find out the different layers. So here I will pour the water which is of the 200 ml in this measuring cylinder now i will take the soil sample a and i will pour this i will pour this in the one of the measuring cylinder after this we have to shake this cylinder so that all whatever the soil particles will get mixed up properly in the this water and we can get the different layers after shaking this we have to keep it aside for 15 minutes to settle down the different soil particles okay so here so now full this soil of 50 gram which is shifted in the cylinder now we just have to shake this so that full soil will get mixed up in the water and then we have to keep it for the settling for the 15 minutes okay same will follow for the next soil now this is for the soil sample b which is of the garden soil So full soil I'll shift in the water. The full soil is shifted. Now here, this garden soil, same way I'll shake and this got mixed up. So now it will keep it for the 15 minutes okay and then after 15 minutes we'll see the different layers 
So here we can check the both the soil samples in that measuring cylinders. So on the top you can observe the humus, below that water is there, below that the clay is there, then the silt is there, then the fine sand particles are there, then the coarse sand particles and at the end that the gravels are there. So here you can get a clear more idea. Here this is about the sample A which is of the roadside in which we can observe that the sand which is the gravels at the base, then the coarse sand, then the fine sand is there, then the clay is very very less approximately we can say the zero then this water is there and at the top we got the humus while next is there about the garden soil in which we can observe at the base the gravels are there then the coarse sand is there then the fine sand is there and then the silt is there more silt is there more clay is there and then at the top we can observe the humus okay so this is what the practical what we have performed about the soil texture after 15 minutes, we will fill up this the result that is about the one the garden soil which is of the sample B and roadside soil which is of sample A. Okay, in any order you can write. So two samples will be given to you in the exam time. Okay, so you have to find out the this texture of that particular soil. So here you have to write the color, same way you have to write the texture, then you have to write the percentage of the sand while observing these different layers, percentage of the silt, then the percentage of the clay, and then you have to mention which type of the soil it is, whether it is a sandy soil or whether it is a loamy soil. Okay, so this percentage will be the approximately. So this is the result what the experiment we have performed now. The garden soil is there which color is having the brown color, texture loamy is there, percentage of the sand 50%, the percent of silt 35%, percentage of the clay 15% and that's why the type of the soil is a loamy soil. Same with the roadside soil we got that is a grey color, then it is a sandy texture, percentage of the sand that is 80%, maximum percentage of the sand is there, then the silt is 18% and the percentage of the clay that is 0-2% and that's why the soil is considered as a sandy soil. Okay, So this what are the result what we got, the same way result you have to write in the exam time. Okay, If you like my channel, subscribe and share with your friends so that everyone can get the benefit of the same. Thank you.